Hello everyone, Matthew Hawkins back again with another video and this is one video I wasn't planning to make today, I don't have a script but we've had some very sad news today that the greatest Formula 1 commentator of all time one of the greatest motorsport commentators of all time Mr Murray Walker has died at the age of 97 uh, he may have been 97, but I'm still shocked. He may have retired before my time uh, watching Formula 1. I started watching around 2012, but I know who he is. He is he's definitely one of the greatest commentators of all time. When I have watched classic races back with his commentary, and you'll hear that from Formula 1 fans all over the world who listen to his commentary, whether that be like over here, whether it was on BBC... ITV or even his contributions recently with Channel 4 obviously not as a commentator because he was 90 odd um, but his contributions to Formula 1 coverage over here as well as Formula 1 coverage around the world he set the gold standard he was a gentleman he had a lot of people within the paddock of Formula 1 Seeing how much of a gentleman he was, and how much of a legendary broadcaster, and I, and any and millions of people around the world will have very fond memories listening to his commentary. As I said on Twitter, I consider him as an inspiration. I'm not trying to be the next Murray Walker. That's not. That's impossible. That's impossible. He's the goat. End of discussion. I know no matter what, as a broadcaster, whether that be on this space, on any other space, uh, any other platform. I know I'm never going to meet up to his standard because it's just too much to uh, go for. I'm, I've been punching well above my weight. A very good gentleman, very good man. Very, very amazing that he was able to do the job well into his 70s, even pushing into his 80s. I remember there was a video of him on the grid in Australia in, nine, in 2007 for Channel 10 in Australia. And he would have been about 83. Three, I believe, at the time, and that's incredible. I I don't think I'm going to be in my mid seventies traveling around the world, the way Murray Walker did in his last couple few seasons broadcasting Formula One uh, for ITV and the BBC. And he was a great communicator, very enthusiastic. I mean, the boyish enthusiasm. I I definitely share the boyish enthusiasm. Not just for motorsport, but for sport in general. I've got that enthusiasm in me. Like I said, he's a massive inspiration. And there'll be a load of broadcasters around the world who hopefully will feel the same way. The millions of fans who have very fond memories listening to his commentary. Uh, BBC, ITV, or Channel 10 in Australia, TSN up in Canada. Broadcasters around the world, obviously saddened. What else can I say about Murray Walker? He... Absolute legend. And it's just a shame that he's gone now. And all I've got is the memories. My heart goes out to his family. And obviously, we've got more respect for this man. He did fight for in World War Two. He's a war veteran. And so he lived a long, very eventful and amazing life. And all we can say, I think all really that needs to be said is... Thank you, Murray Walker. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. I can't thank you enough. I mean, again, my words don't do him just this guy justice. He is the greatest Formula One commentator of all time, one of the greatest motorsport commentators of all time. I'm hoping Channel 4, Sky, do a massive tribute show. Hell, maybe even BBC and ITV, I don't know. I think Formula One does a tribute package. Even though Muzz Murray Walker was definitely before my time, like I said, I started watching in 2012. I have watched some classic races back. I think my favourite commentary line has to be, it was his favourite comment moment in his 50 plus year broadcasting career, was Damon Hill winning the 1996 Formula One World Championship in the last race at the Japanese Grand Prix. It was the iconic moment, he had a lump in his throat. Again, thoughts, prayers to his family and friends. This guy, he doesn't just need respect in motorsport. He needs respect in life. 
This guy defended our country in the war. He fought for, for Britain in the war in World War II. And obviously worked in advertising as well after that. And he gave his life to something that he really, really loved. That was motor sports. And we're all better for it. What are your memories of Murray Walker commenting? I know I haven't said much, but what else can we say? He, he, he will be missed, I feel, for his family. And Formula One has lost one of its greatest ever broadcasters, motorsport broadcasters, a motorsport legend that is Murray Walker. He's no longer with us. He's died at the age of 97. Okay, right now I'm just going to pour a drink out. Just pour the whiskey in here, a bit of JD and a bit of Pepsi. I just want to pour this drink out. And I think really... For a war veteran and a motorsport legend, even though he didn't have a very stellar career in motorsport, he even said himself the best he did was 250cc at Silverstone. He's forever a motorsport legend. I raise this glass to Murray Walker. May Murray Walker rest in peace. Don't think there's much left to need. I say more. I'm not going to do your traditional ending. Just as a mark of respect. I think if I'm doing a bit true to a person like I'm with Murray Walker, I'm going to not plug any of my stuff, but links are down in the description. I'll just say that. I think we'll just end it here. Rest in peace, Murray Walker. And thank you. Thank you for everything.